Hello, lovely Taurus, and welcome back. If you're new, welcome in. Taurus, this is going to be a collective, intuitive, general message for the week of February 23rd through February 29th, ending off February. Taurus, this is going to be a little collective message, but for those of you who want to forward the message, this is the beautiful piece by the fabulous Mary Ellen. This piece is a powerful set of stones which offers blue impression jasper, which will connect you with the spiritual world. It is a set. It comes with the earrings and the necklace. It also has lapis lazuli, which is for wisdom, truth, spirituality, vision, understanding, and for harmony in your relationships. It also brings the energy of success. The agate will help to ease any bad dreams and protect you from stress and anxiety. So, Taurus, thank you for tuning in for that information. Taurus, let's start off this reading with a message from the angels. This reading is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for the week from the 23rd until March 1st. This is for Taurus. What does Taurus need to hear? What does Taurus need to hear? Angel guides, what is the most important message for Taurus? This is for Taurus. This is for Taurus Collective. Show me the message for Taurus. What is the most important? We have Francis or Francesca or Francie. There could be definitely a Francesca here, Taurus. This week, because the sun is in Pisces and Mercury has joined Pisces today on the 23rd, it's going to open up that creative juices. This is the juices of your imagination. This is about compassion. This is about more comfortable in your arrangements when it comes to your visualization. See, lapis lazuli will help with this vision that you have here, okay? It helps you to be in your truth, to speak wisdom. For a lot of you Taurus here, you love to paint. You could be very gifted. You could be very powerful when it comes to your painting, arts, music. It says, what do you need? What do you desire right now, Taurus? You need to visualize it and it will come about. Negativity will block your progress. So when you're visualizing something that you desire, okay, this is about having a visualization board. It's about seeing it. But Taurus, it's also about hearing it, right? So when you do your manifestation or your visualizations and say you're manifesting a brand new car, have your friends or your family around you in that meditation, visualizing how happy they are that they see you have this, right? Like people around you. So it's about visualizing it, hearing about it, and feeling it. What would it feel like if you had this? But remember, Taurus, negativity will block the progress, right? Because we can also manifest from a negative place here. Now, Taurus, this is a week, I feel for you now, Taurus, that has a lot of deeper meaning. And it says Archangel Gabriel is here. So we have Archangel Gabriel, and it says, you have a very important life purpose, Taurus which will involve communication and the arts, definitely. Please don't allow insecurities to hold you back. I will help you. So you might be feeling this week when it comes to something here, you might be confused, okay? Virgo is the kind of an energy where you could be too picky or too critical about it this week, but this is the week to tackle that project or that task or that vision that you have, right? It's a feeling here of don't get stuck in fantasy land. You have Archangel Gabriel coming through, which is the Archangel, the messenger, okay? So this means for some of you, you might have to speak your truth on this situation. There's a deeper understanding, but whatever this is now, it's a feeling here of coming in alignment with relationships, with harmony, okay? For some of you, this is a feeling here. Let's see what's coming in with the general message. I feel you're very artistic, okay? Whatever creative venture that this is, whatever you're doing right now, please do not feel insecure about this, okay? So let's get some tarot cards for our lovely Taurus. 
This is for Taurus. This is for Taurus. The full moon in Virgo will be happening this Saturday, wherever you are. It'll be at 22 degrees. It's called the Super Snow Moon, okay? This is about the service that you provide. This is about the care that you give this week. When it comes to tasks or small projects, okay? This is also the energy of the Virgo full moon that will highlight your fifth house. Your fifth house is the house of flowing energy. We're luck and flowing, okay? This is the feeling of believing in yourself, right? Being more optimistic here. So let's see when it comes to your career, your gifts, your visions, general message for Taurus. This is a general message for Taurus. Show me Taurus's overall collective energy. Show me Taurus overall energy when it comes to career, goals, visions. Five of Swords. There's a feeling here, air. You could be dealing with Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius now. You could have this in your chart. Mercury entered Pisces, but Five of Swords is conflict overall. There's something here that you're fed up with when it comes to your career, okay? It feels like you're walking away. There could be a conflict, Taurus, or some kind of betrayal that's happening here when it comes to your career, okay? This could be you feeling like you're a doormat in a situation here. Two more cards. For some of you, when it comes to career, okay, there could be some difficulty, Something here that doesn't work, okay? Something here that you're walking away from. Something here that you're letting go of, okay? In your overall energy. Yeah, four of swords. There is going to be a recovery. There is a period here with the four of swords. More air, okay? A lot of air. There's a lot of communication. There could be harsh words that are said here, okay? Something here that's taking place. But it feels like with the Four of Swords, you're taking time out. Time is needed to take out this week, okay? Yeah, a lot of swords, okay? A lot of mental confusion could be taking place here. Eight of Swords. There's something here about you getting ready here to break out of a place where you felt restricted. And it leads to the Nine of Cups at the bottom of the, tech, the deck. Nine of Cups is a place of... Nine of Cups is a feeling of wish fulfillment. It's my wish fulfillment card. It's also a feeling here of something here that you've been hoping for, something that makes you very happy. So when you look at the Nine of Cups, like say you're somebody here who loves to cook, right? And when you cook, you come up with these, these creative ideas when you're cooking, right? Your meals, are you just don't make chicken regular. Like your chicken is superb. You're very dedicated. You're very responsible, okay? The Nine of Cups can mean like when you look at these things in your life overall, which brings you satisfaction and which places don't. So there is a lot of negative energy around, I feel, in your current energy here. There's this, few, this feeling of not seeing eye to eye, a feeling here where definitely there could have been some plotting or somebody here trying to keep you stuck in a situation around your finances, Okay, it's also that mental energy, air energy with Gemini here. It's a feeling here of don't get stuck in a situation that's not for you anymore. The Nine of Cups tells me happiness is just around the corner here with the Nine of Cups. Okay, let me have some more cards for the near future for Taurus. Let me have three more cards for Taurus for what is coming in. You see? Eight of Pentacles, when it comes to your work, leads to the Ten of Pentacles. Taurus, you have something here that you're working on when it comes to the Eight to the Ten of Pentacles. This is long-term stability. This is long-term security here. The Eight to the Ten tells me here, you're getting ready here to focus on something here that brings more quality. Like I feel, you're very detailed, you're very focused. This is master building. For a lot of you, Taurus, this could be a family business. There you are, Taurus. This is a higher calling that's going to change everything. For some of you, there could be this feeling where you're feeling stuck, you're feeling insecure about it, but it feels like this is the feeling where it's like out with the old, right? Walking away from something here that you're fed up with, 
It's a feeling of tension, but it also feels like you're breaking out of a pattern now, okay? When it comes to your belief in yourself here, because there is many possibilities that will be working out for you. And look at Mars and Aries. So this could be a matter where you're dealing with a GM or you are the business owner. We have the emperor and the empress in this reading coming out. You are going to find a perfect balance. This is your higher self. This is the spiritual guru, right? It is re recognized as the Pope in this reading. It's a number five Taurus. This is about what you believe in yourself, right? Do you believe in yourself? Do you believe that this is your sole purpose, right? Because it feels like you're receiving spiritual guidance this week. But when it comes to your voice, your throat chakra here, this is about your major status, the role that you play, okay? This will involve communication here, okay? With Venus and Taurus, the Ten of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles, I see financial glow up here, okay? The more that you believe in yourself, Taurus, the luck just flows. The luck is just flowing. The Eight of Pentacles is very focused. It could be an apprenticeship. It could be a mastership. It could be like I feel you're going to be booked and busy here. And Ten of Pentacles, Taurus tells me, this is about investing in a business here that brings long-term stability here, okay? And with the emperor here, it feels like you are getting ready here to take action this week, okay? This is the energy of Mars, using the energy now here to stay focused, okay? You're being recognized here for the quality that you give, not the quantity, okay? Mars in Aries here. This is about laying a solid foundation. Something here that you're getting with the Virgo full moon is going to highlight a lot of luck by believing in yourself, right? So being more optimistic, you are not stuck, Taurus. There is definitely a higher calling when it comes to your career, your position in the and your standing in this world, right? You have a lot of knowledge, a lot of wisdom here to share. It feels like with the Ten of Pentacles, this is the kind of legacy wealth which leads to success, long-term success. Very rich, very earthy. With the Virgo full moon, is definitely getting ready to tackle those projects here, Taurus. So let's see what's coming in for love for this week. Let's get some advice for my Taurus collective when it comes to love and relationships. Show me Taurus, Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, from the 23rd through the 1st of March. Show me the energy around Taurus. Taurus. So there could be this intensity that's been building up, okay, around your greater goals. But when it comes to love, show me Taurus. Show me Taurus, advice reconciliation Taurus yep we do have the Mars and Venus conjuncting okay so this is the meetup here this is definitely someone from your past is returning okay this is somebody here that wants to reconcile with you Taurus someone from your past is returning to your life now let's get another card for Taurus okay Taurus giving the relationship a chance Definitely your partner wants to work on this partnership here. It's asking, like I feel, can we work out? Can we work through the struggle or conflict here? It feels like there's been struggle and conflict. And Taurus, at the bottom of the deck here, it's about releasing that X, okay? For some of you, the time has come to clear your energy, okay? This is about an ex that is returning for some of you. Let's see what's going on. <clears throat> Sorry about my throat. Show me love. This is love. This is love for Taurus. Show me what's coming in in love for Taurus. This is for Taurus Collective in love. Let's put it like this. Taurus in love. Advice for Taurus in love. Advice for Taurus in love. Clarify the reconciliation. Someone from your past 
is about to approach you. You're about to have an appearance from someone from your past. This person's definitely wanting to work on this. Yeah, Page of Swords. This is somebody who's definitely keeping an eye on you. This person's checking you out, Page of Swords. This is my spy card. But this is also a feeling of this person's very curious about you. You could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, or have that in your chart. Page of Swords. Please clarify reconciliation. Please clarify reconciliation. Nine of Pentacles. So right now, Taurus, it feels like you are single, okay? I could be talking to Venus and Taurus, my young Empress card. It feels like you're independent, you're invested in yourself. You're standing on your own two feet, Taurus, Nine of Pentacles, and the sun is shining on you. One more. And the star card. The stars are aligning for you. The stars are definitely shining on you, Taurus. There's a big change. Yeah. This is someone who's returning from your past, okay? You could have Aquarius. Now, Taurus, this is where Venus is currently in the sign of Aquarius, okay? There's this feeling here of whatever this is now. It feels like you're more independent, okay? This could be some changes in your relationship, some new experiences, okay? You're having some kind of a glow up when it comes, okay? To your kit, to you, Taurus, with the star card, Aquarius energy. There is hope for a reconciliation here. I feel, Taurus, that this is a timeline jump here, okay? Because I do have the tower at the bottom of the deck here. There is some kind of a awakening, some kind of an aha moment that could be taking place here. It feels like, Taurus, with this someone who's returning to you here, it's as if the stars are aligning in your favor, okay? The universe with Pluto here and Scorpio, okay, is definitely telling me there's a major change, okay? This could even come in as a revelation here. It feels like for some of you here, there was a broken relationship or a broken home or a broken marriage, okay, with the tower. Something here, you went through a shakeup, okay? And this is somebody here who's wanting to rebuild Okay, a foundation with you, Taurus, okay? The strong Aquarius energy tells me there is a lot of healing, right? The cups are blending here. It feels like there's definitely a lot of healing that you've been going through, Taurus, okay, with the star card, with Aquarius energy. It can feel electrical, like this is very, like the electrical energy of Aquarius is very innovative, it's about somebody here wants to uh, build a very strong foundation with you. This is also can come to you as a surprise, okay? So now let's see. Let's clarify giving this relationship another chance. Yeah, the moon card. There's a feeling of anxiety or insecurity. Could be dealing with a Cancerian. The moon card is a feeling here of also your dreams, okay? This person's dreaming about you or you're dreaming about this person. There's something here that's hidden. Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, this person's waiting. They're making some kind of plan. You may not know of this plan, but this person is making a plan. This is something that they could be keeping hidden. But with the Seven of Pentacles, they're invested for the long haul, okay? One more. And three of cups reconciling. Yeah, this person, definitely. Here comes daddy, Mars and Aries. So this is somebody here who wants to take action. Boots on the ground. Mars and Aries tells me this is definitely somebody here who wants a solid foundation with you, Taurus. Okay, three of cups. There's going to be some kind of celebration or some kind of party or some kind of event that you might be attending, okay? This could be a family gathering or this could be a party or a birthday. It feels like whatever's coming in right now, you're gonna be definitely meeting up with this person, okay? And this is somebody who does not wanna give up on this relationship. Now, Taurus, let's clarify releasing that X. Tell me about this X. This X can be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, King of Wands. This could be somebody who's an entrepreneur. This could also be a bachelor, the king of wands, whether it's a woman or a man, a bachelorette or a bachelor. 
The King of Wands can also be somebody here who is non-committal. Six of Pentacles, okay. This could be someone that you have as an ex, okay. So we have two different kings here. We have a choice between lovers. This is the cosmic lovers meeting up, Taurus. Yep. With Gemini energy, you could be connecting with Gemini or you have Gemini in your chart. It feels like the both of you are definitely separated here. And when you look at the lovers here with Mercury energy, okay, this tells me there's a choice between two, okay? It feels like one of these definitely can be somebody here that you have a relationship with uh, Taurus that was very much a lot of passion, a lot of chemistry, a lot of attraction here, okay? This King of Wands can be somebody here who's very adventurous, okay? With the Six of Pentacles, there is some kind of a balance here, okay? With the Six of Pentacles, there is a feeling here where there could be a choice, okay? But then the King of Swords is here, Air, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Now, we do not have two matching pairs. You're coming up, I feel, Taurus, is the Nine of Pentacles. So one of these is an X here. There's a choice between two here, okay? It feels like the King of Swords can be somebody here who you're not seeing eye to eye with right now. There could be this feeling here of the King of Swords can be coming off as definitely learning a valuable lesson, okay? This could be somebody here that you're having difficulty seeing, uh, balancing or recognizing, but it definitely feels like somebody here was definitely breadcrumbed in a relationship with the Six of Pentacles and the King of Wands. It feels like the King of Wands is looking back at you. This is an X. The King of Swords might be definitely turning their head or giving you the cold shoulder, okay? Or appearing to be very cut off, okay? But I do feel with the lovers here, you do have a clear choice here to make. Now, let me clarify this King of Wands. Let's see what this King of Wands is, this X. Could be an Aries, Leo, Sag, doesn't have to be. The elements are with the King of Wands. This could be somebody who is really um, doesn't have a lot of self-control, but they're very ambitious, okay? This could be somebody who was non-committal, okay? And two of pentacles. Yeah, they were definitely on again, off again. Two of pentacles, your ex, okay? One minute they're in, one minute they're out. They could have been juggling other people, okay? Two of pentacles, yeah, queen of pentacles. But like I feel, they definitely are looking at you as definitely feeling regret when they lost you, okay? This is somebody here, an ex. Like I feel with the Queen of Pentacles, there is it's their loss, your gain. So, King of Swords. Let's clarify this King of Swords for your ex. Eight of Wands in reverse. And Eight of Pentacles. So, we have an August 8th here or somebody who could have Leo, okay, in their chart. I'm, I'm definitely seeing August. Something here could have happened last August. Something didn't take off. There was definitely some delays here, okay? And it feels like Eight of Wands, there's been some frustration with this King of Swords, some delays, some holding off. It feels like this King of Swords was definitely working behind the scenes here, okay? Doing the work here, Eight of Pentacles. They were engaged in something here, very focused on their work, okay? A master, right? Master intelligence, like I feel very clear thinking, but it also feels like this is somebody here who has not been speaking to you. Eight of Wands, okay? Three of Pentacles. Yeah, they've been working on some project. Now, this could be you have uh, partnerships and a business with this ex, or you worked with this ex, okay? Three of Pentacles. This, is, this King of Swords, I feel, is more the one who's coming in to reconcile. I feel that this is somebody here who definitely wants to work on this partnership, the King of Swords. This could be definitely a feeling where you've drifted apart from one another, but the King of Swords definitely has a plan up its sleeve. It's been working on how to make a solid foundation here, okay? So that's what I'm feeling, Taurus, in love for you this week. On the bottom of the, of the deck is Three of Pentacles, Four of Cups. I feel you don't see this coming. You see that Four of Wands? I feel you don't see this coming. 
I feel the Four of Cups is a feeling here where you're reevaluating a situation. You could be coming off as rejecting this person. But the Four of Wands tells me this King of Swords has plans for setting a solid foundation. This could be marriage taking the next step. This could be working on a home, working on a foundation. This is 1111, my 1111 card, Four of Wands. So there's definitely a sacred tie to this connection with the King of Swords, okay? I feel this could be definitely a very strong foundation that's happening here. So this could be rebuilding a home, rebuilding a foundation. Somebody here that wants to reconcile, okay? So I do feel that that's what the energy is. I'm going to leave the reading here, Taurus. I will see you in March horoscope for the next reading. See you soon.